Creating a map chart used to be so difficult. I still remember the days when I needed to search for latitude and longitude for each postcode and cities and upload the data to a special mapping software just to create a heat map chart. Today, I have good news. Creating a map chart doesn't have to be difficult anymore. In this video, I will show you the fast and easy way to create four map charts, each one in less than a minute. Firstly, I will show you how to create state heat map charts so that we can plot sales by state in a map and color code the states depending on sales level. Secondly, I'll show you how to create postcode heat map chart so that we can color code the postcode that generate more sales. And thirdly, I will show you how to create a heat map chart in Indonesian language instead of English language to test if Excel map chart is capable in coping with other local languages. And lastly, I will show you how to create a world heat map chart showing population by countries. Let's get started. I want to show you how to create a simple heat map chart by Australian state. Uh, it's a heat map because when the sales is low, it's yellow. When the sale is high, it's colored green. How do we do this? Really simple. Just use uh, the table down here. So you need to have your tables created and then go to insert and click maps. It's there. And let's resize it. And then we need some label. So just right click, format data series. And hold on, right click, add data labels. Yep. And then right click the labels, format data labels, and click the category name and the value that we have everything. And then you may want to change the title, double click the title. And if you don't like the color, you can change the color scheme by clicking this other option on top, or you can customize it. Yeah. How do you customize it? Click the um, series color on the, um, on the format data series and just pick whatever color you want. So in my earlier selection, I pick yellow for minimum sales and I pick green for high sales and we are done. Next, I want to show you how to create map charts showing sales by postcode. So this is also a heat map. The postcode with the bigger sales is colored in orange. Postcode with the lower sales colored in white or almost gray. So get your data prepared and format them as table so that you can have uh, filtering happening as well as auto update of the chart if new rows are added. So to format the table as table, just press Ctrl T. Now, once you have done that, click anywhere inside the table and click Insert Maps, Fill Map. And bring it there. Look at that. Our map is automatically created. You want to change the color scheme to make it the same as what I had. Just click that style in the middle and change the color to the middle one, color palette number three. And that's pretty much the same thing. And if you want the title, just type Australia sales by postcodes. The beauty of this map is if you filter it by state, say Queensland, because you just want to focus on Queensland, look at that, only the Queensland maps are there. Isn't that awesome? And if you want to talk to, for example, your Western Australia sales manager, then just filter Western Australia and it filters the map. Isn't that cool? I'm curious if this chart feature is available in other countries, especially non-English speaking countries, and if it's smart enough to recognize the local name of the provinces. So I've selected Indonesia because I happen to speak Indonesian. I came from Indonesia and I came from this place called Kalimantan Selatan and I know it, this name is in Indonesian. So um, let's insert the map. Click Insert uh, Maps and make it bigger. And I can see 
it's working because this is Indonesian map and that's where I came from, Kalimantan Selatan. And uh, same thing, um, if you want to see the label, add data label, right click, format it and select both category name and values. Um, you want to see both. So that Papua is showing up there. Now, if this is Indonesia and it recognizes the Indonesian names, my natural question is, does it recognize the English names of the Indonesian province? I'm going to translate that in English. Uh, I've got a list prepared and I'll just copy that in here and watch that Kalimantan has now become South Kalimantan. So this is the English name. And the chart, the map chart is smart enough to also translate it into English in here and still recognize this being an Indonesian map. This is awesome. Uh, so I'm just going to rename this Indonesian map. Now I'm not sure if this works for Chinese um, states or, or Philippines or other countries. Let us know uh, in the comments if, if you happen to be coming from those countries so we can all you know get excited together. Let's create one last chart together, uh, population by countries in a map. So uh, press Ctrl T to format your list into tables so that it recognizes additional line uh, if you want to add more countries in the future. And then go to insert maps. And in one second, you've got everything mapped out as a hip map. Indonesia has the biggest population, so it's got the darkest blue color followed by Australia and New Zealand. You may say, okay, there is this rest of the world map that maybe doesn't have to be there. How do we get rid of that? Uh, simple. All you need to do is right click, format data series, and in the map area, click on options to show only region with data. And boom, it's zooming into only the three relevant countries. Now, if you want to show the label in here, right click at data labels and then now you have the population and you can right click again, format data labels and show the country name and the values. I'm not sure why New Zealand is not showing up. I think if you make it bigger and drag it, hopefully it will show up. Uh, Indonesia is now starting to show up. We have now reached the end of the video and you now know how to create four types of map charts by state, by postcode, in local language, as well as world map chart by country. Please note that Excel map chart is a new feature which was not available in the older version of Excel. In this video, I'm using Microsoft 365. There is also another small catch you need to be connected to the internet in order to utilize this feature. And please note two special tips to make things even easier for you when creating the map charts. Firstly, I find it useful to arrange the data neatly formatted as a table format so that the map can be auto-updated when new regions are added. And secondly, I find it helpful to have the country name included as a column next to states and postcode in your data set. This is because the same postcode number or state name may exist in multiple countries. So including the country name will have Excel to be more accurate in creating your desired map chart. So that's it for now. I hope you find the video useful. And if so, please leave your comments below and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my future Excel and Power BI videos which I publish in YouTube every Thursday. See you next time.